stop donating trash stop donating trash like it's it's upsetting me and my my home girls it, it really is and it's really disrespectful if you would not give someone the items don't thrift it anonymously and i see that's what happens a lot of people just donate trash like there I, I can't even think of any respectful way to put it it is trash it is a reason why you sent that to a thrift store in a rubbish bag versus giving that to a neighbor or a friend you didn't give it to a friend or neighbor because it's some trash and you know they would talk about you but you donate it to thrift stores anonymously because no one can track down the trash giver i'm going to start doing that i am going to start tracking down the people who donate trash i know you lying i have been chatting for 10 minutes, none of which was recorded because I never pressed record. <sighs> Let's take it from the top. Bonjour, mes amis, and bienvenue to some day of vlogmas. 25 days of vlogging, in fact. Say moi, Jesse, resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See vous play. Take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and on both TikTok and Insta, search pour moi because I'm just not on your feed oftentimes. So we are at the thrift store. I am heading back in. Yeah. The last time I was here, I got so many goods. It, it was just, I should feel bad for how much goodness I got, but I'm a good person. So I feel like that was the universe paying me back. If you are new here, I do have thrifting guides that are location-based, meaning that um, if you're in DC, Montreal, Paris, uh, Virginia, do I have Virginia? I think I have Northern Virginia, but I have thrifting guides that are location-based. And then for my thrifting tips, thrifting 101, thriftology, I'm still solidifying a name. Mazami sent so many good ideas. I need to finally make a decision. Those guides aren't location-based. It's more so tips for thrifting, things to look out for, what you should just go ahead and put back, those kind of things. So we, that's, that's that. And yeah, I'm heading in. This is, I don't know what day of Vlogmas. I feel like I said that before. I'm kind of just annoyed right now because I was just spilling my heart, chatting with you all. And really I was chatting with myself because I did not press record. So here on my channel, Cappuccinos and Consignment, with regards to Vlogmas, it is not your traditional Vlogmas. I am not, we are not holiday people. So there is no decorating of the trees, um, gift wrapping, the traditional things that typically come with Vlogmas. I have been spending these days um, answering questions from as I me, taking like entire videos to respond to comments and questions and just random things. So we went thrifting before we did shopping at the Catwalk Boutique, which is actually why I'm quasi back here at the thrift store because the coat that I purchased at the Catwalk, it's very neutral gal era. And I want to get some like nice sweater dresses or just sweaters that are more neutral and see what I can find. But I am telling myself no more outerwear. Like I have to just stop. It has been ridiculous with how much outerwear I have acquired, unless it's just something that I cannot refuse. <laughs> An offer I can't refuse, like the Sopranos or something. Unless it's just something that's like, like I'm not going to not purchase a, I don't know, Chanel tweed coat or something because I you know so let's let's not get carried away yeah so we're going to do that and also I guess a bit of housekeeping rules here if this is your first time watching my 25 days of vlogging there will be minimal to no edits I have a two edit maximum because it's very time consuming see I'm not editing that typically when I stammer on words or have very long pauses I would edit those out but yeah, 
that's just not what we're doing right now because vlogmas is very very time consuming and I, I want to participate. I want to do what I actually really, really enjoy doing this, but spending so much time is just not an option right now. So we let's head on in, see what we can find, and we will rendezvous back in La Vulture. Ciao for now. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. It is 9.30, and the parking lot to the thrift store is already packed, already packed. I am searching for cream, in neutral pieces because ever since i got that coat from the catwalk if you did not see that vlog check it out i think it was like day two of vlogmas i'm on like my neutral gal phase okay let's go in ciao for now well jordan as i mean let's get into the voiceover but first we have to fix the bun second we always switch into our eyeglasses if you are someone who wears sunglasses and they are prescribed we often make the mistake of just keeping them on and people feel that we are being inappropriate but I just forget that I have them on because I can still see so love this dress but my goal was to go here searching for neutrals I almost I wanted this so bad. It is Carl Lagerfeld, and I am just obsessed with Carl Chanel, the tweeds, the pearls, the chains. But look how damaged this is. Look how look how damaged this dress is. And we're gonna get into that later because I was just extremely disappointed in that. Saw some other pieces, but I just wasn't too crazy about anything. Really wasn't. But then I saw this. This is Calvin Klein. I can't remember if I actually brought it over to the camera for you all to see. But I always check the designer, check the size, which really doesn't matter to me. I wear anything. Plus size, baby clothes. I still have skirts from the Gap, Gap Kids, not Gap Baby. <laughs> okay, so I did show you all. This was really nice. I really, really did like that dress. I love the concept of the dress. And of course, this is so Jessie, this, that vibe. I really love that dress. And I decided to go back over. This was really fun, but it's polyester. It's just not my thing. You, you have to learn about your body type and what kind of fabrics you do well in and I just don't do well in polyester which so much fast fashion is it's polyester so yeah at this point I'm getting desperate I just want something <laughs> and then I got a call so I had to take this call I feel that it was an appointment for Juju the camera kid the doctor's calling confirming that drives me mad why do they do that if there's anyone like here who is in the medical profession, why do we have to confirm our appointment text? I confirm with the text. I confirm by email and then they call. If I don't confirm one of them, will, will they cancel my appointment? Please let me know. I'm always on the search for peeps, um, pieces. I'm not editing that for Juju the camera kid, but it is becoming increasingly harder because he is in between sizes. This denim jacket really, really caught me. I'm not a big fan of denim pants, but I love denim, the fabric. Let's see. I know I said I wasn't getting any more coats, but come on. Come on. It's neutral. It's faux leather. And it was new with tags. You see what I say about fast fashion? So much of the fast fashion, so many of the hauls, they end up in the thrift store. This is when I will buy fast fashion, when it's thrifted. But this jacket had a lot of imperfections. And for it to be a fast fashion jacket, new with tags, and still have all that imperfection, that's wild. This coat was really, really nice. And I started considering it for Juju the camera kit, but I didn't know if it was too feminine. There are um, some unisex pieces. Well, I make them unisex pieces. I thought that would have been nice for him. Now, I love this for me, but this was entirely too small. I, yeah. The bust is busting. It's bursting. <laughs> I saw another denim coat, but I said, just keep on going. Keep on going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. So at this point, yeah, I'm just fishing. I'm looking for things. I have way too many jackets. 
I'm so proud of myself for leaving that. It's Anne Klein. That was good. I went ahead and put the pieces back. Those two dresses I put back. So, all right, we are back in the car. Let's catch up. Ciao for now. Oh, bonjour, mes amis. We are back. Mike is here. I hope you all can still hear me. I think these things are so ridiculous. Whenever I see content creators with these, I'm like, really? And now I am a part of the problem. In my defense, my voice is recovering. I <laughs> will call it bathtub gate. I stayed at a really nice, a very, very high end luxury hotel a few months back and they had a bathtub that was big enough for me to fit in, which is, that's a luxury. Like I'm too tall for most bathtubs anywhere. Like I just have to get in a pool or a jacuzzi. So when I saw that the hotel had a bathtub that I could fit in and I'll try to remember to insert the link so you all can watch it or just search staycation. I sat in that tub multiple times and sang my heart out. I hit notes that I had not prepped for. I was not prepared to hit those notes. So with that, whenever I get a little sniffle or anything happens, my voice is the first thing that starts going. So yeah, I, um, I accepted defeat at the thrift store. On the thrifting guides and on the previous thrifting day of Vlogmas, I shared a few tips. I gave them to Mazami, but still consider purchasing one of the guides. It truly helps me out. I do not do a lot of brand deals, hauls, things of that nature, things in which people, content creators typically generate income. I don't do that. So you all sending me cappuccinos, which you all have been flooding me with cappuccinos, make it rain, okay? Make it rain cappuccinos. I am so here for it. And I don't know if I can mention people, like I'm really, really big on anonymity. So if you have donated, sent me a cappuccino, I would love to personally thank you, like here. I send messages thanking you all, but I would love to thank you publicly if that's okay. But I never take the liberty in doing so because some people don't want to be on the internet. <laughs> so we back to thrifting. Um, two of the rules that I shared on my last uh, thrifting vlog were, was, is, is just one of the tips. I feel like I shared more, but no, two applied. If you would not pay retail for it, don't thrift it. Don't thrift it. That is part of overconsumption with regards to thrifting. I know a lot of the thrifting community feels that they are better than the fast fashion people. But if you are over thrifting and over consuming, not wearing the things and they end up back in the thrift store or the landfill, like that's counterproductive. So if you would not pay retail for it, do not thrift it. Secondly, repairs. Be honest with your repairs. So that tweed Carl Lagerfeld dress, I really, really love that dress, but it was too much, too many issues rather with the peeling. It, it was, it, it just wasn't in good condition. And it was really pathetic that that dress was in there. Like see to play, I am going to do an entire vlog about that. I have written a vlog, a blog. I get that mixed up. I'm not editing that out. I have written a blog about two years ago about stop donating trash. Stop donating trash. Like it's, it's upsetting me and my, my homegirls. It, it really is. And it's really disrespectful. If you would not give someone the items, don't thrift it anonymously. And I see that's what happens. A lot of people just donate trash. Like there, I, I can't even think of any respectful way to put it. It is trash. It is a reason why you sent that to a thrift store in a rubbish bag versus giving that to a neighbor or a friend. You didn't give it to a friend or neighbor because it's some trash and you know they would talk about you, but you donate it to thrift stores anonymously because no one can track down the trash giver. I'm going to start doing that. I am going to start tracking down the people who donate trash to charity shops and thrift stores because it's really, it's like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? If you do not know what to do with your textiles, and I am a former textile designer, I can tell you, don't throw it in the trash. Anything that's clothing, cloth, textile, do not throw it in the trash. Google in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state, 
look for a textile recycling center. There are recycling centers for textiles. If it is not in good condition for you to sell, and some people don't want to sell the items because it is very time consuming. Like here I am, cappuccinos and consignment, and I have totally failed on the consignment portion because it is a lot of work. I will admit that. If you do not want to sell it, if it's not in good enough condition to gift to someone or you just don't know anyone who would want it or can fit it and it's just not in good condition, take it to a textile recycling center. If a textile recycling center is not near you, there is an H&M near you. H&M, I, I actually, I don't know if they still have it. I'm sure they do. Actually, I'm not sure because I haven't been to H&M in quite some time. Check it out. H&M at one point, I was a textile designer for H&M at one point in like the whole other world internationally. <laughs> but H&M at one point used to have a bin, like a textile bin where you could just throw items in. They did not have to be in good condition. They didn't have to be cleaned. You could just donate the textile and they use that to for their recycled line. So take it there to an H&M. And once you donate, I know before you would get 10% off of your order. This is not sponsored or anything, but I, I just don't want textiles to end up in the landfill. So C2Play, do not donate trash to the thrift store. If it's not in good condition, just find a textile recycling center that will take it. So we, I admit defeat. I walked out of the thrift store with absolutely nothing. And that's, that's difficult. That is difficult. Cause I, we all are oftentimes on our Denzel, like we're leaving here with something. And I am so proud that I didn't. And let me tell you how I was rewarded for being one true to my word and not being like wasteful. So as I put the garments back and I circled one more time because I was determined to get something. I circled one more time and I caught the eye of someone and I spoke and she spoke. And then she said, I just saw you on YouTube. And I'm like, oh my goodness, congrats. I mean, not, what am I talking about? Congrats. <laughs> Wake up, girl. I said, oh my goodness, merci. And she said, I just saw the YouTube video with you with that pink teddy coat. And so I pointed to the rack to show her where I had picked up the coat. Like, that was the exact thrift store. So that made me so happy. And I told her I was empty handed. Ursula, I remembered your name. If you are watching, bonjour. She said it was okay for me to mention her name. Ursula saw me empty handed, empty handed. I'm not editing that. Ursula saw me empty handed leaving the thrift store because I do practice what I preach. Those two garments that I had, the linen dress, I, it, it could work. It could have, but I wasn't like crazy about it. it. It was neutral, but it's like, okay, it has to be more than that. The other, the Calvin Klein sweater dress, it was kind of fitted bodycon. You know, that's really not my style. So I was definitely just buying it to say I got something and I wouldn't have worn that dress. So I am so proud that I stuck to my word and stayed true to all the things. And I'm so delighted that I was able to meet a, I hope, a Mezami. Ursula, are you a Mezami? Are you subscribed? Or did, did I show up on your suggested videos? If you are not a Mezami, consider becoming one. Tell your friends, your family <laughs> about me. So I am going to head to um, another thrift shop to see, you know, if I have any luck. It is 10.09. So after that, I am going to go to a coffee shop and edit the vlog that I am going to post today. So we let's get to getting. Alrighty. Ciao for now. Does no one work a nine to five anymore? Like I am parked so far from the thrift store. This is ridiculous. Like it's so many people here. I mean, I'm gonna have to stop <laughs> encouraging as I mean to follow their dreams because I mean, clearly this, this is affecting my lifestyle. <laughs> like, oh, okay, see you inside. Ciao for now. I almost forgot to take my glasses off, well, my sunglasses, and halfway through, I remembered, look at this. See, this is why, well, that coat bothers me. Black, I, we don't have, I, I don't know why all this fur. 
Why all this fur? Like we don't have animals. Why am I always covered in fur, my black pieces? Okay, back to this dress. This dress confirms why you should put things back. All the things, well, the two things that I put back at the previous thrift store was worth it. It was so worth it. When you do right, right comes back to you, even when it comes to thrifting. This was really charming. I don't know why I didn't get it, perhaps because I really wanted to stick to my neutral thing, or it, it could have been an imperfection. I just have this thing about black and white stripes, and whenever there are hint of colors, this gave all the neutral girl aesthetics that I want. And I feel that, I hope I showed the brand, I think this was free people, free somebody, free the homies, free, I, I don't know, it was free something. It wasn't for free, I can tell you that, because I would have picked that up. But, oh, did I get the tag? No, okay. Yeah, so I checked it, wanted to make sure the quality was up to par, and it was. So, yeah, and this woman right there, she got a Valentino bag. Got a Valentino bag. I didn't want to give it the authenticity check because she was happy. So I wanted her to thrive. And, you know, who am I? Who am I to just come in just telling folks, crushing dreams this dress the fabric the fabric caught my eye and it just made me so happy so the pattern alone but then once I felt it it is extremely thick and textured okay these purses I absolutely loved 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 and now that I'm looking at it I really do regret not buying this bag there were a few imperfections but the reason I decided to put this bag back is because I wanted to take it with me but I know I knew rather I still know that it's really not practical I carry my entire life with me and that is something that I did prior to content creating but especially now I have my tiny microphone I have tripods like I have things and that's not even including my personal possession so I put it back but this still would have been a nice bag if it's meant to be I'll find it but let me let me let, let me let you all hear this one second as the kids say you snooze you lose <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for putting it back. Yeah. Which one? This one? No, the other one. Oh, yeah. This one. I said, oh, I like that. Isn't that nice? And and yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm back. So we had an understanding. We had a connection, and I felt it. I did not get her name, but we we felt connected. So as I am continuing to look for just really nice sweaters, I know some people, this was pretty. This was so pretty. It took everything in me not to purchase this, but you know, I have, I have to leave something. I, I can't take it all. This was nice as well. There were a not, there were, I'm not editing that, a lot of nice pieces, but you have to know when to say when. You don't need everything. And I don't want to be one of those people that I talk about who just overconsume. Now look at this. Look at this. D V F. Okay. D V F. $9.99. And it was less than that. But watch what I did. Watch what I did. Let me let me let me let you listen. I saw this and I had a if you can fit it, Diana Von Furstenberg, and it's, no, that's a it's too small. Okay. Right. Like, <laughs> I said, oh my like goodness. That, that's a good, that's a good yes. I can't do anything with it. But I, I said, let me. Wait. Right? Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, baby Gina is now crying, so you all will have to bear with me all as well. It's just her bedtime, and the husband told her to put up the iPad, so the world as she knows it is over. So you see how we, we just had that connection. Although I couldn't do much with that dress, I tried to pay it forward. She couldn't either, but it was the thought. It was the thought, and it really confirmed our connection. I loved this um, sweater. It was nice, but again, one of those things, it, I wouldn't pay retail. Anything pink, fuzzy, teddy bear, 
you know I'm in love. It's, it's ridiculous. At this point, I have two pink teddy bear coats, but I didn't have a bomber. I let that stay there because the chances of me wearing it was slim to none. So I may lose some of you all here, but bear with me. I thrift shoes. I thrift shoes. Some of the best shoes. You know I love those pink ones. They, they look like they were Barbie sizes. The olive ones. Oh my goodness, I didn't see those. But yeah, I absolutely, okay, shoot, she's coming upstairs. All right, let me just put some jazzy tunes. Ciao for now. Bonjour, mes amis. I feel like I'm close enough where you all can hear me and I don't have to yell home. And I, what time is it? It is 11.28. I am going to prepare some more tea, working on the vocals and get some work done. I need, I didn't end up going to the coffee shop. I just wasn't feeling it. And my hair is still actually damp. So I need to dry that some more. But first I'm going to get some editing done. I need to send out some invoices and the raffle tickets. If you all have not entered, I am hosting another LV raffle. This time I am raffling off a brand new LV Speedy and Never Full. So I will leave the link. And make sure you're subscribed or enroll, signed up, whatever it is <laughs> for my website, the blog. That That's where I send a lot of information about friends giving, just a lot of things I share on my website. So when you go there, I feel like at the bottom, there is a stay connected, stay in the know, something along those lines. Send, send, enter, not enter, subscribe. Yeah, so you can be on the mailing list and get this information. So we let me get a bit of petit déjeuner because I didn't eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. I try, but it's just not my thing. And I always get super nauseated if I do. So I am going to prepare a nice bite, something light. And then the husband, he wants to go and get pedicures. So I am so thankful for that. But we, I'm going to get some work done and I guess I'll end the vlog. That sounds good. Alrighty, ciao for now.